Hey everybody, Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project, Bridget Lindolgoff. Anyway, today I am harvesting some of the sunflowers. Uh, some of the sunflowers are ready to be taken off and dried. A couple of the sunflower plants were done. So I'm just going to kind of show you. And so, yeah, let's just have a look. Oh, look at that. So then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry them like upside down. In, in patches and hang them. So I got like about, you know, a bucket and a half to start off with. So this is the deal. I kind of like to follow the native principle, which is a third for me, which means that I'll use it to plant somewhere else. Uh, and we're, you know, for my projects because Sunflower is really good at clearing lead. And these are Hopi sunflowers. So these aren't the regular hybrid kind of sunflowers that you get. These are these are native sunflowers that belong to the earth and the land and help to restore it and have a higher vibration. Um, and, you know, heal and fix and give and look beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And then a third of the sunflowers I'll give away. And then a third I'm going to leave for all the insects and bees and birds that worked so hard to keep my garden going that I want to give them a good, you know, food storage and food push uh, coming into winter. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about that. There's some other things that I was going to chat about. Oh, oh my gosh. So I've never grown native sorghum. This sorghum, uh, I believe, comes from India. Pretty sure. And this is called, see how they look? I'm going to turn, sorry. See how they look like a corn? You see that guy back there? See how they kind of look corny? They got kind of a kind of a corn. Um, you know, see him right here with he has a little tassel. See that? Yeah, that guy. But he uh see how he's kind of corny with his leaves? And then this one. This one's pretty corny looking too. Corny, I mean, you know, kind of long has kind of corn-like type leaves. It almost reminds me kind of a cross between like corn and wheat. But anyway, so this these are called popping sorghum. And I've got to try to see if I can find, so it's seeded, look at that. I didn't know if it would seed this year or how it was seed. So I'm pretty excited. So I've got to find out when the seeds are done and then um, I think they have to be kind of um, shucked or um, scored or something like that. Have the outer seed kind of removed. So I'll figure out when I need to harvest those guys and then I'm going to try it. They say that you can pop it just like uh, popcorn. And then, you know, put some flavoring on it and eat it. So the other thing too is, see how my soil is getting depleted? So I'm going to put a whole bunch of wood chips on it today so that way it has something to break down for the winter. And you can see how fall's coming. We're supposed to get back up into the 90s, but we have had a little bit of, you can see we've had a little bit of frost. Yeah, on the tomato plants. And I don't know what happened to the caterpillar, but I'm pretty sure he got eaten by a bird. Yep, I'm almost 100% sure about that. And because uh, he just vanished and he liked to be up here on the top of the tomato plant. So anyway, I've got some pole beans. My little pole beans. My native little pole bean bushes. And then I'm going to be letting those guys go as long as they can with the beans. And then I'll pull those off. I've got like a purple pole or a... Those are bush beans and these are pole beans over here. And I've got purple pole beans that are finishing up. 
and then mostly everything now is going to be eaten for or used for seed for next year and then I still have my lettuce and kale yeah look at that it's still jamming so I just keep eating it keep eating it keep growing so anyway just super excited about my sorghum looks like I have about seven sorghums so just super excited about how amazing just how amazing those little guys are with their little tassels so anyway as I figure it out with the sorghum I'll give you an update so anyway have a great day conscious of economics and urban farm project peace out